Dear Asian friends, dear participants of the first workshop on the implementation of the Asia Pacific Road Safety Observatory, dear fellow combatants for fewer traffic deaths, safe roads are an important level for sustainable development. They are also an urgent challenge and need greater attention. Why? Road fatalities in Asia and the Pacific have increased by over 10% during the past few years. Today, 50% of worldwide road crash fatalities happen here. This must change, and quickly. The Asia Pacific Road Safety Observatory will be a big step in the right direction. I am delighted that this important project is moving forward in good speed. Road safety is one of my priority topic areas as Secretary General of the International Transport Forum. ITF's work on road safety includes all levels, global, regional, national, and local. Our work encompasses a broad range from data collection and country road safety performance reviews to work on infrastructure safety management and road safety education. Since 2018, the ITF has organized regular road safety events in Southeast Asia. Among other things, we worked closely with the ASEAN Secretariat to develop guidelines for crash data collection and management. The ITF stands ready to help countries in the region to implement policies that effectively reduce road incidents. In 2012, the ITF was one of the driving forces in the launch of Latin America and Caribbean Road Safety Observatory. And in 2018, we helped to create the African Road Safety Observatory together with many of the partners who are also present here today. Now is the time to establish a road safety observatory for the Asia Pacific region. The countries here face rapid motorization. They deserve support to meet the road safety challenge that comes with it. Together with our valued partners at the World Bank, FIA, UNESCO, and the ADB, we will create an infrastructure to provide the region's decision makers with the better road crash data. Road safety is a complex issue that requires an integrated, proactive, and preventive approach. We need to address the quality of data so it can become the backbone of evidence-based policies and interventions. Improving data quality and then using the data effectively will require leadership at all levels and among different stakeholders. We welcome this opportunity to work with you all and build strong partnerships between governments and regional partners. The ITF will always be at the side of those who have made it their vocation to save lives from being lost to traffic around the world, and in particular in Asia and the Pacific. I wish you all a very productive workshop and look forward to seeing the result that will flow from it.